Welcome back to the Plum Island Horror. We have, let's see, two, four, six. We got two more tokens to pull out of the bag. For uh, turn five, we cannot evacuate anything from helicopters and boats until the, after this turn is over, which is a horrible. And we have, all right, the Greenport Township gets a go. All right, let's see if they want to do any of their fancy footwork. Uh, movement let's figure that out if we want to do that i think the only one from our greenport township i want to move is uh ed here he's just going to go one two and join our policemen here so they can exchange some uh, supplies if they need to yeah we're going to go ahead now everyone else is going to stay in place and now the greenport uh, township gets three actions, so let's figure out what they want to do. Alright, the first action is we're going to have the mayor here do a crowd control. He's going to take all four of these guys and shove them over here. We're betting a lot on <laughs> the Cayenne Sky to be able to evacuate a lot of people here. Um, so there's that. It's one action. We have two left. All right, our fireman way up here, he's going to do a heal action on himself. All right, he's going to do a heal action on himself because I think he's got trouble on the way. So now he's fully healed. That's good. We got one action left for the Greenport Township. All right, I was going to build a compound, but I can't because you need to have an admin rating of three. And uh, Ralph only has an admin rating of two. But we're going to move the mayor over here as our final action. Uh, he is now one, one away from Ralph. Ralph can now go ahead and build it. But, of course, we're out of actions. And now it's follow actions if we want. And I think we probably are going to do a couple of follow actions. The first follow action. We're going to have Friday here shoot. He has a... Uh, a value of two for shooting and you can shoot in the same location you're in uh, it does not add a cube to the bag because it's not a close combat uh, hand to hand so he's gonna go ahead and shoot he has two dice for shooting he has to spend one supply they have ten supplies They'll spend one they're down to nine supplies for the police two dice ranged attack in the same space even that's, that's doable and he gets one of them all right, we plinks one off, uh, and that was a follow action. And so, when you do a follow action, no event card. Now they can do a second follow action if they want, and I think they're... Um, is he going to do that again? Does he want to go ahead and shoot again? Um, no. You know what we're going to do for us? I know what we're going to do for our second follow action. Let's, uh, let's get Sparky the dog moving. All right, we're going to move Sparky 1, 2 up to here. It's a building space. He's got three dice. He only has one wound on him. I think we want to block this off so they don't overrun down here to the fish market. That's another follow action for the police. And, oh, man. Okay, we get a lovely, a lovely, lovely event card. Run around the Coast Guard Cutter. Unit has some rocks. Draw a fate number and apply. Coast Guard Cutter. Where is the Coast Guard Cutter? One second. Remove the unit from the game. Taking on water. Sunk. Remove the unit from the game. Where's the Coast Guard Cutter? <clears throat> Were we not... Um, we have the Coast Guard Helicopter. I don't think the Coast Guard Cutter is in the game. I think the Coast Guard Cutter comes with the National Guard... Let me double check that, but I think that's a National Guard uh, boat. Okay, it took me a couple minutes to figure this out. The Coast Guard Cutter is the Alyssa, uh, which is right here, Coast Guard Cutter. All right, so we have to draw a fate card. Uh, I don't really care about it at the moment, so... <laughs> I mean, I do care. I do and I don't. Uh, and that's number one. It is sunk. I believe it sinks, which is fine. Sunk! Remove the unit from the game. All right, well, good timing. It sinks. We don't need it anyway. That's unfortunate. Uh, we have all of our eggs in one basket over here with the Cayenne Sky. Wow, okay, it sinks. Oh, boy. All right, back the camera out. We got another token to pull, and it's going to be a bad one. Oh, yes. The last token in the bag is um, Murder of Horrors Movement. Yeah, that's our last token. Mm, all right. 
which means we're going to be pulling one of these cards. We're going to be spawning four Murders of Horrors and activating another track and... Oh, come on. All right, and they get plus... Remember, there's plus one movements too. So we're spawning on track six and we're activating track one and track two. All right, let's spawn on six. Oh, this is all bad. It's all bad. Ah, so there's spawning here. Yes, we're at the four now. And they do get plus one movement. Uh, everybody gets plus one movement. And when we do the plus one movement, then the, that token goes away. But it stays there until they use plus one movement. Speaking of plus one movement, we have track now, track one and track two. So let's start with track one. Well, starting on track one, the one farthest down, we got Sparky here. All of these guys pile on in and attack Sparky the dog. And we're at a building space. There's five of them, five at a building space. Two possible hits. Ouch. Two possible hits, but Sparky has got three melee dice yet. And we got to put one of, one of those rotten things in our bag of toxic goodness. Uh, all right, Sparky the dog, three dice. Come on, Sparky. Do your stuff. Whoa, yes. <laughs> uh, Sparky did his stuff all right. Um, whoops. There we go. Way to go, Sparky. Kill him with dice. All right. Whoa, dice are going everywhere. Two shields for Sparky. So instead of taking two hits, he takes none. However, it didn't do any damage either. Ooh, so uh, all that really did was add a cube to the bag, which is just horrible. Uh, all right, up to the very top of the board, we have some movement. Looking up, looking way up. It's plus one. I'm going to remove the token now because it will go away. So plus one movement. Three. These guys are going to move three, but instead they're going to move four spaces. Uh, I don't know if we start with mutations first. This guy's going to move two, so he gets plus one, three. One, two, three. So now our lepers are on the way. These guys are going to go one, two, three, but they're going to move one more. They've got a choice to make. They're either going to go across the damaged bridge or they're going to go there. We draw a fate number and four. Do they go across the bridge? Two to five. No, they go here. Darn it. I want them to go across the bridge because it repairs the bridge and, and wounds them. Okay, that's track one activating completely. Over we go to track two. Oh, and speaking of track two, there's nothing up here, but I am going to remove the plus one token. It goes away. And looking all the way down, yeah, we got some activity on track two. And now I'm really hoping that these two are going to go in here where there is already uh, one, because otherwise we're going to get two, ac uh, two actions, two attacks happening. So, um, this guy's not going to move. These two are going to move. We're going to draw a fate number. Come on, one or six, one or six, a three. God, darn it. So they go this way, which means we're going to have two hand-to-hand -hand combats happening here. Oh, boy. And yes, two separate hand-to-hand -hand combats means two cubes in the bag. Yo, boy. All right, let's do the first one. We're going to have uh, Friday here. He's got a three. He's only being attacked by one dude in a building space. That's one possible hit. But he's rolling three dice. Can I get that in there without destroying the place? I can. Three dice. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? All right. Well, uh, Friday is going to be taking one wound. Well, that could have gone better. Uh, wow. One wound. All right. Over we go to the next uh, combat. All right. This time we have our shore patrol dude. He's got a combat of two. There's two guys in there in the building space. One possible hit. <sighs> One possible hit. Two dice. Come on. Coast Guard dude gets absolutely nothing. Also takes one hit. This is absolutely horrible. Oh, wow, the Coast Guard cutter hit hit sank on the rocks. Our Coast Guard shore patrol ends up getting munched on, getting the damage. And we added two extra cubes to the bag. Just beautiful. Uh, and that is the end of the activations. <sighs> and the end of the round. So let's go ahead and do the end of round activities. Well, that was a great big steaming pile of goodness, wasn't it? All right, we're at the end phase. Replenish location step. Night round only. Nope, it's not the night round. Mutation regeneration. Well, our mutant that's coming down the track would regenerate, but he has no wounds. Biohazard infection step. Oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear. We have a lot of red cubes in there now. We have lots of yellow cubes. We've got five green ones. Maybe we'll get lucky. 
because <laughs> we're getting so lucky in this episode. First cube! Yellow. Come on, green! Give us a green! We haven't had one... Did we have one green? And then we have... Ooh, a red one! Ooh! Ooh, so that's a total of three moving up on the track. That's bad. Oh, that, that's painful. One, two, three. Look at how close we are to losing the game. If we pull, well, worst case scenario, next time we pull it out, we pull two red cubes are going to be, I, we're, it's, this is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> All right. Where are we? Refill the turn order bag. Yes, indeed. We're going to be putting all these lovelies in and we get rid of this stupid token so now we can evacuate using our boat at least these go back in the bag and we're coming next uh next time uh next time we're back to this game we're into the night phase we got to feed our hungry people we have five supplies for greenport and we have nine for the police so we're doing good there all right we're going to back the camera out wrap it up for today well, that was all kinds of horrible. Uh, the game went sideways. We didn't get one hit at all. That is absolute garbage on all the attacks that happened down here. All we did was add a whole pile of lovely, juicy red cubes into the bag, just making our life miserable. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, descriptions, likes. This is the Plob Island Horror. And, oh boy, we only have to rescue three more... Uh, points of civilians which is easily done but we have to not lose the game through either overruns or biohazard infection level and that's going to be tough so thanks so much hope to see you next time for the continuation plum island horror